The clinical impact of the PIM scanner in my practice um, became obvious to me very early in, in the course of my experience. One of the first patients that I performed the scan on um, had a more complex lesion than I anticipated. She had an abnormal mammogram that um, led to a stereotactic biopsy and that showed that she had DCIS. When I saw her in consultation in my office, I also appreciated a change on her nipple that looked like a, a crusty lesion and I was suspicious for Paget's disease. I suggested that we do the PEM scan to evaluate the extent of disease before we did surgical planning and we did that. And um, in addition to imaging the DCIS that had already been biopsied, I was able to appreciate an area where the DCIS extended toward the base of the nipple. And in addition to that, I also saw an area that became intensely radioactive or uh, showed up as a focus of uptake on the tip of the nipple that uh, correlated with what I'd seen on physical exam suggestive of Paget's disease. The, so that result told me right away that this was an extensive process and that this patient was going to need special attention and that she um, would require removal of the nipple as well as the entire lobular unit that contained the DCIS. So that was a really exciting finding and um, sold me on the, the value of using PIMSCAN to work up newly diagnosed cancer patients. Mm -hmm.